With the eyes of our mind, we can see him standing there on the great white cloud of Matthew 24, the great white cloud of Revelation 14, and he's sending forth his everlasting gospel in this world with his everlasting covenant, saying to all people of love, I will be your God, you'll be my people, I'll forgive your iniquity and never remember it again. Write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord. For all people of love, as moving as a little child, will be know me, for I am love. And so he says to one and all of us, the true forgiveness is what he is sending forth, unconditional, because there has never been any uh, conditions in divine love at all. To have conditional love is not even love at all. And know that true forgiveness is when you can say thank you for the experience. And to forgive is to set the prisoner free and to discover that the prisoner was actually secretly within you. So it's time for all of us to believe in forgiveness. It's the very best form of love because it is love. And it'll take a strong person to say they're sorry and even a stronger person to forgive. And know that there is absolutely no love without forgiveness. And there is no forgiveness without love. And the weak can never forgive though. Those are the tares, the wheat must come with me, for forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. And we must forgive others, not because they deserve it, but because they deserve peace, as all people do. And uh, forgiveness doesn't mean ignoring what's been done or putting a false label on every evil act. Instead, it means that evil, that evil act uh, can no longer remain a barrier to the relationship because forgiveness is a catalyst to create an atmosphere necessary to have a fresh start and a brand new beginning. And it's time that we move ahead with that understanding. Because to forgive is not to excuse what the other person has done. It's to prevent their behavior from destroying your heart. So we must forgive others always because we really deserve peace within, because the kingdom of God is within us. And it's time to arise and celebrate. Let the weak say they are strong and uh, know that the weak can never forgive because it takes strong character to humble ourselves. So these are the days when the arrogant will discover that these days shall burn as an oven and it will burn all unloving religiosity out of us. So we must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive, for whoever is devoid of the power to forgive is totally devoid of the power to love. And we must pass on that message to the world, because to err is human, but to forgive is most divine. And I, I think the very first step is to understand that Forgiveness never exo exonerates perpetrators. Instead, it liberates the victim. It's a gift that we can give unto ourselves. And it doesn't change the past forgiveness, but it does enlarge the future. And praise God, free at last, free at last, can we all be if we will just realize that there is a nobility in compassion and a beauty in sympathy a grace in, in forgiveness. And uh, if, if we had to forgive a person uh, who wasn't even sorry, that's strength. Many times uh, we have to forgive people that are not sorry. We forgive anyways. And if we can forgive anyways, don't you think God's love is stronger than ours? So therefore, let sincere forgiveness never again be colored with expectations that the other person needs to apologize or change. Don't worry whether or not they finally understand you or not. Love them anyways and release them. Life feeds back truth unto all people in its own way and in its, in its own time. For forgiveness alone is the very best type of love, and it's time to be freed by that. For without forgiveness, life would only be governed by an endless cycle of resentment and retaliation. And uh, it's time to realize that the first to apologize is 
the bravest. And the first to forgive is the strongest. And the first to forget would be the happiness, the happiest. And forgiveness is the very best give, gift that we can give unto the world and unto each other because it is the virtue of only those who are the bravest. So as we forgive, realize that it is the best revenge. It's like pouring down coals down people's backs. And uh, so it's time to realize that as we do this and show mercy to others in our life, uh, that uh, no longer will we hold on to anger that hurts us and not them. We release that so it doesn't explode like a cancer within us. And so praise God, it's time to realize that if we really want to love, we got to we gotta choose to forgive. And don't worry, don't beat yourself up if you go two steps forward and one step back along the way. Sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. But smile unto those that have hurt you. And know that uh, it's time that uh, when a deep injury has been done to us, we can never heal until we have forgiven. And it's time to realize that this will be the, the beginning of the kingdom age when more people realize that silence is far better than unnecessary drama. So let's cut the act and just hug and one another and love each other. If we cannot love each other, how in the heck could we love he who we cannot see, who's calling each of our names as if we were the only one? Can you hear our roaring Lion of Zion call? He's telling us he wants us to be no more stupid sheep as he ascends to being the good shepherd over all the flocks of men. He wants a pride. That is the name of a family of lions. Will you have courage to go there, people? It's time to go deep. Deep calls unto deep. And he calls each of our names as if we were the only one.